Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to you all. As you can see, it's another beautiful, glorious day in Perthshire, Scotland. Birds are out singing as normal, singing the glorified morning that comes to us. There's a little bit of heat behind that sun as well. Great to see it. Great to see the sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hurry. As the song goes. Now, it'll not be that long before the summer fets and fairs come into tuition. Yeah, looking forward to maybe going to a couple of them. We have a big major one up here in Persia. It's uh, up at uh, Scone Palace, a game fair, a country game fair. Me, my brother Raymond and mum and dad went to one a few years back and we thoroughly enjoyed it. We had a scorcher of a day. We were in the heat wave at the time. And it was mobbed, but it was most enjoyable. We came back with a few things as well. Yeah. Very enjoyable. Also, down below we have the Dun and Dumblain show. That's another fet that I could go to. The Bridge of Allen Games is a little bit away, but it's not that far. Yeah. It's a great day out. Maybe a little bit expensive to get in, but it's only once a year. Lots and lots to see and do. There'll be many, many summer fets, wherever you are. So, why not take a visit? Gives you a little break and sets the mind in motion for a glorious week. Yeah. So, I'm up here in Leafy's Wood again. I'm starting to bring out my flask and sandwiches now as the nights are stretching and I want to be able to stay out that a little bit longer. Doesn't start getting dark till about half past eight, so yeah, eight o'clock, half past eight. The nights is fairly stretching. The birds and the animals take advantage of that as well. They've got that longer, that little bit longer to go out and forage and scavenge and hunt. Even longer in a few weeks time when the summer months come in, the hot summer months we hope. Yeah. I can see a difference in the birds. At the moment, they're singing that little bit more enthusiastic with their tunes, their songs, their bird songs, as if to herald the start of the good weather. Go away winter, they're saying. We want the spring and summer. Don't we all?
This is what I want to show you. This is the gorse, not the gorse bush, sorry, the rosadendron bush. It's just about to flower. And this gives all the little birds and the pheasants protection at night time. I'm just going to show you why it gives protection from foxes. Uh, all predators, hawks, owls, this is where they go at night. You see the gap? This is where we go in. You'll see why they have chosen the inside of the gosh, uh, I keep saying gosh, the rosodendron bush, and it's not actually a bush now, it's a tree. But here they are. These are where they perch. Now you see the moss? You see where it's bare? That's where they've been standing. But look at this. What a protection. Roots. Rabbits as well are in here for protection from the hawks. Oh, rabbit holes. Look how entwined all these vines are. This is where I told you that I observed the pheasant roosting up there at night. Lovely, eh? Plenty of protection. When you look out the hole, that's a tree I sit and I can sit and watch them. But isn't this lovely? How entwined all these branches and vines and trunks. You hear them? They're in here. I thought that would be interesting for you to have a look at. You can imagine it at night time, complete pitch black, so this will be crowded with little birds and pheasants.
Now, just before we go, before we head off, I've got a little surprise for you. Today, in Leafy's Wood, I managed to film a little stoat. Weasel. Yeah. So the birds and animals have another predator that's entered into Leafy's Wood. But still, one of God's creatures. Lovely. It's the first time that I have seen a stoat in Leafy's Wood. And I hope it's not the last. I hope I have many more opportunities to film him or her. Anyway, I thought you'd love to see this. And there's one for my film bank.